What's going on guys? In part 4 of the Budget Gaming PC Component Selection Series, I'm going to talk about the motherboard I chose. Now this is the ASRock FM2 A75 Pro 4M. And this motherboard supports all AMD uh, FM2 socket processors. Uh, it features an A75 chipset with the UEFI BIOS and a healthy dose of overclocking options. It also supports 1866 memory up to 64 gigs uh, right out of the box, as well as five SATA 6 connectors, PCI Express 2.0, and AMD Dual Graphics. As far as the I.O. portion, it supports USB 3.0 at the front and rear, PS2, DVI, HDMI with 7.1 channel audio support, a gigabit LAN, optical audio, and your typical analog audio and USB 2.0 ports, among others. Now so far I've been pretty happy with this motherboard as it's allowed me to overclock my A105800K easily uh, with just a few multiplier and voltage adjustments. And ASRock also provides preset overclocking options uh, if you wish to go the easier route as well. Uh, just make sure you have a decent CPU cooler like the Hyper 212 EVO. Now all things considered, I can definitely recommend this board for a budget gaming build. Uh, however, if you had to purchase today, I would look at the ASRock FM2 A75M Pro 4 Plus. Uh, this is an FM2 Plus socket motherboard which supports the new Kaveri APUs, but is also backwards compatible with the older FM2 CPUs uh, like the A10 5800K, the 760K, uh, etc. Uh, you also get some nice features that are not available with the older boards. But that's about it guys, uh, this is what I chose for my build. Uh, I encourage you to do your own research and read about other things not discussed in this video uh, before choosing a motherboard as it's definitely one of the most important components in your build. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you want more content, and until next time guys, see ya.